What's up guys? This is the Brofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as Louisiana, the unstoppable force that is Louisiana. So to pick up where we left off, we have many many troops near Venice and it's going to be a fairly simple operation to capture the city and bring it into the fold. So let's take them out. But we are dangerously near the end of this campaign. Uh, well, rel relatively. It's going to take us a few episodes to uh, capture all the cities we need to capture. But I definitely think we know the end is coming. It's, there's, there's just no, no two ways about it. The end is nearly here for the rest of the world. And they can learn French and be glorious like us Louisianans. And so we're kind of serving an alligator souffle. I don't know. All I know is I've seen... Oh, I can't remember the name of the program, but there's a chap called Shelby. And it's about these loggers in the um, in the US, in the southern US. And he hops in. He, <laughs> he's, so he's in a swamp. And he knows there's snapping turtles down there, which if you don't know what snapping turtles look at look like and what how they behave, they are goddamn nightmare fuel. Um, but he knows there's a snapping turtle down there and he jumps down. He just jumps into the water to, quote, find out where that son of a bitch is at. And you're like, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. Um, right. Ah, quick lime, quick lime. <laughs> oh, looks like I didn't manage to... Oh no, there we go. They do, they do have a bunch of mortar crews, but we're going to crack our way into the city pretty, uh, pretty conclusively. And the quick lime is still going off and it's doing a lot of damage to the well reasonable amount of damage to the general's bodyguard but it's not really what we should probably be focusing on but it's not a massive deal because we know we don't really have a very significant force um, with, uh, with that has to withstand us so we're going to make two breaches once that's done we are going to begin the advance so as we make one breach, obviously we're going to start, first of all, keep attacking the other, start quick climbing units that may come out to support the breaches, push the troops up, take my light infantry up, push my infantry up like so. There we go. Good. So the quick climb can just begin. Well, the howitzers can just <laughs> begin annihilating these units here that are defending the breach. While the glorious Louisianans, which I've recruited so many of, we can't. They're not actually named anymore. So many men are on their way to capture. The city of Venice, which is, I mean, if that's meant to be the city, there's not enough canals and stuff. Oh, quick climb inbound, yeah. Oh, oh, yes. Poor, poor souls. This is what happens. Our, em our empire needs to feed. The mortars are begin, beginning their uh, glorious, glorious rampage. Ooh. Get on your feet, soldier! Pick up that musket. You got some catching up to do, Buster. So let's take these three units and push the left. See, these two units to run up to the blockade will run up to the breach. These two units can also run up to the breach. These units can push around the right flank. I mean, they might man the, man the cannons. We might actually be able to get some traps off here. Because these guys all look like they're 
struggling. Yeah, they're going to man the walls, and that's that's one thing, but... I don't think they're about to... Uh, yeah, like these units are... If these guys don't get off the wall pretty ricky tick, they're going to see some problems. So let's get the Cursier up there. Give us another volley in the field artillery. Oh, artillery's, the artillery's coming in. No! Foot artillery, attack the wall quickly! Come on, when you see the first puff of smoke, it's like that's it. The breach is ready. There we go, the first volley, first cannonballs away. The rest of the broadside's coming in. Come on! They must, they must be aiming at something else. Just bring you guys in now. Swarm! Swarm! Attack Paran Alpha! So I wanted to see was my Chasseur à pied securing the wall, trying to secure the bridge. It's trying to secure the gatehouse for us to get in, but that's not going to happen now because the enemy have... Um, they've charged infantry up to stop us. So let's use my infantry to knock out the mortars to prevent any freak um, morale issues from coming into play. Push the infantry in. Push you guys in. The Chasseur RPA aren't, are not going to live. And that line infantry unit might make the militia shake. new men form up just to fire at the enemy troops. Two units going to scale the wall here and get this garrison line infantry unit to be committed to defend that wall. Now you men charge the general's bodyguard in the flanks, that'll be alright. See if we can get an even, see if it's even possible to get a temporary superiority there. The Austrian troops, Austrian line isn't meant to be very good. So you men form up. Charge into the seventh. I don't want another infantry unit involved with fighting the general. Hey, we took it. Good, with my other unit. So then these Hussars and Curassier can actually... Well, they could always get in, but... Good, the Chasseur up here to holding them off. Just throw them into the combat. My, my troops are going to kill the general and take command of the centre anyway. And my chasseur up here to back up my other infantry. There we go. So this line infantry turn around and fight the garrison provincial line because the militia can try and catch up. These men are being cleared out. General's bodyguard is going to fall. There's the general himself. Well, you guys just just hunker down on the centre square. 
get some more guys to fight in the center. General's been killed. There we go. So the infantry hold. Hold steady. Everyone else, just kill as many Austrians as you can. Force them to break. I do not think they're going to be standing for as long as they might think they will. Units. <laughs> Absolute unit just wiped out that Austrian guy. There they go. Oh, they did have... They did have um, that line unit was still fighting over here. Well, they would have died because this regiment would have slammed into their flank. But there they go. Hurrah! Venice is ours. In the face of enemy resistance, they could not withstand us. So these units can stand to be repaired. You men replenish, let's take. Yes. So you can stand here, ready for an attack against the Italian states. You men can stand ready to defend Venice. But then to be honest, it's going to be a bit of a mad world. Because you're going to go hit this force here in the university. Another force is probably going to hit Zagreb and take it. But Austrians are going to be falling thick and fast in this episode. Then we're also going to take Tripoli. We need to do that because Tripoli is currently sieged. And if we take it, um, the state of Venice, not the region of Venice, the country, the faction, will be destroyed. Because it's their last region. Which will be quite beneficial to us. Oh man. We are packing firepower. These poor... I'm, oh, I'm going to do what I've done in other episodes where I've gone... You know what? Let them... We're just going to blow them apart with artillery. Just stand back. Let them try and... Just let them come up towards us. But there's such a force relying on... Ah, quick climb, quick! See, they sit there firing um, shrapnel shot at us, but we've just got so much damn artillery. It's like, nah, you might have some good gunners, buddy. But we've got some pretty awesome howitzers. Although the fact that they do have good artillery means I probably do actually want to push up and not get shrapneled at range and unable to respond. So let's retarget my quick climbing howitzers because the, the cavalry we originally targeted will probably get into combat with us one way or another. So you men can fire a volley, ceasefire. Cressier guards are probably going to knock them out. You men ceasefire as well. Yep, I think we're going to win. 77 versus 59. You know, we'll bring my general in to try and tip the odds somewhat. It is risky sending a general in like that. But, meh. By the same token, meh. Because what's the point of having the cavalry? Especially when the pikemen are coming in. So I need to knock my cavalry up to move their firing arcs away from this combat here so they will focus on just gunning down the Swiss pikes. Both units. So they got them down to, sh got them down to shaken before they hit the line, which isn't bad. 
Push my chasseur up here to skirmish against the gunners and do some good stuff in general. Okay, that's a friendly fire quick line. I should just give up on quick line altogether, to be honest. I'm just rubbish at using it. Oh, that's going to hurt. General's bodyguard. It's going to real hurt. You've just stopped within point blank range of my skirmishes. What are you doing? Like, oh, General Real did. Okay, you guys, General's bodyguard, go after the pikes. The other cuirassier unit, just nail them all the way to the rear. Heavy horse artillery, to be honest, might actually just stop firing altogether. Militia, grenadiers, garrison guards, foot guards. This one get cut to bits. And it's like, yeah, you know what? It's probably enough. Switch them to kind of too quick to a round shot too late. But again, when you've got so many units, armies, running around the field, you can afford to be a bit slapdash. Because fundamentally, everyone's... Yeah, everyone's ready to be killed, except I'm going to continue. So all the artillery can stop firing. Well, first of all, let's get you guys around the spikes. Regulars, horse guard artillery, that's a good unit to kill. So, irregulars, Swiss pikes. I like killing pikes, but I also like killing Swiss grenadiers. You've almost wiped out this guard unit. Then try and wipe out that guard unit. You guys have nearly wiped out the unit of Swiss Pikes. Let's bring you guys up here. Grenadiers are going down. Oh yeah. Okay, let's not go mad. Let's just get them to focus on the unit that's at the back. I'm sure there's logic that says, no, go for that one and work your way back. But to be honest, the, the edge of the map is probably like right there, so. Why worry? Worst comes the worst, we kill a bunch of militia anyway. Yeah, we wouldn't have got there, and there's a chance the militia might have routed too. So at least this way we know we've done some good stuff. So another force cleared out of our territory. Back you devils go. So we've taken university and now we can destroy it. <laughs> so you men replenish. Can you guys leave Vienna? You can. So you guys are going to put Zagreb under siege. But that's not going to be our first attack. And what I'm also going to want to do is take Mr. Balbo and push him up here. I do want to make sure I don't forget because there's, a, there's an army here who's on his way back, so I may as well um, attack the fortification, secure the secure Tripoli. This army, that navy, it disappears. I'm also going to put Valletta under siege, so I don't forget. So we've pretty much got a lot of sieges to fight um, in this episode. So we're going to take the city of Tripoli away from the Venetian Empire. Actually, I think we've got Tripoli, we've got Malta, we've got Zagreb, and we've also got Jerusalem under siege. So, you know, in this in this turn, not necessarily this episode, we'll make massive, massive progress. 
Um, but if, well, I'm not going to, I was going to, I'm currently playing, it's playing five campaign, ooh, four campaigns, sorry. I'm going to, I am going to wait and narrow that down to, um, just the, just the three. But I'll probably, I will put out a video about that soon. So I'm going to get all the bulk of my elite heavy, the bulk of my heavy troops on this flank, everyone else onto the other flank, because the terrain's a bit dodgy. Um, I'm only going to attack the corner, which means there's only going to be roughly one breach. So my howitzers also need to be spread out. So I can do damage from both of the directions that I want to attack from. There we go, so you men attack. And also I do have lots of six pounder artillery. So it's all about trying to crack open the... Oh, damn. I didn't get to switch them to quick climb in the way I want. Well, I can get one of them to attack. Well, to be honest, let's get both of... Oh, God. Both of them do have to attack the centre because they're within water range. <laughs> if not, just barely. So I need my light horse artillery to make a breach. The trouble is, I think their mortars fire faster, but quick climb will thin them out. <laughs> yeah, horse artillery going to break the the corner of the fort, which they'll then try and defend. If hopefully, if we can get the because they just started quick climbing somewhere else, attack ground short of the mortars because we've really. Our mortars could well route, which would complicate matters somewhat. Especially if they don't kill any of the actual uh, mortar crewmen. Which they haven't yet. They've killed, for, they've killed four, but in the last handful of volleys they've not... The last bombardment they didn't kill any. Okay, now they could seven in one shot. That's pretty good. They're also damaging the other one next next to them, but that's not the one I'm worried about. The one I'm worried about is this one right here. Because I wasn't aware they were deployed so close in this instance. Really, the smart thing to have done would have been to unlimber. I mean, am I... They're not shooting. Kill another couple of crewmen. Down to three. But they're still manning two guns with that, so it's not necessarily the ideal scenario. But we are causing them to be very, very upset. And that's actually their general here, or their captain, their commander. Just going to both attack ground, focusing on trying to kill that guy. Keep checking my six pounders are doing what they should be doing. Which it looks like they are, which is good stuff. Oh, oh, come on, every quick climb is a possibility of just wiping out the commander. And the odd cannonball that comes in from the fort doesn't really doesn't help. And you can see how much longer it takes just to do something pretty basic with light artillery. Come on, okay, let's aim, aim a bit shorter with the with the howitzers. Well, that might be the same thing with the f foot artillery. If we redeploy them short at regular speeds, that might do what we need it to do. Taking out the man to his side, the man, the guy manning that gun. Now it's one guy frantically loading a mortar under the eyes of the, the garrison commander. See, oh, I wonder, a rogue cannonball from the horse artillery might take him out. That'd be pretty neat. Oh, oh God! It's only the commander left. Right in that in, in that case, attack some of the other units holding, holding, um, uh, trying to defend the city. Another couple of volleys and the fort will fall. 
well this corner section will and we're gonna, they'll, they'll lose a chunk of armed citizenry in the process well they might not actually oh yeah they will it will reload swift enough for that to happen uh, does the corner not collapse well colour me confused especially when it says yeah I was <laughs> right because I was looking like this and going okay that's the gate that's indestructible and then the section next to it is 100% so it's not as even as though that's a section you could destroy it was just this now my artillery <laughs> yeah why the hell not So my hearts have been thinned out somewhat. Although well, only one of them has gone down to one gun. Bugged at that. Let's try the push. You might have to try and hit people up on top of the walls, because the... Yeah. They'll do some damage at least, like that. I think I do still want to have Quick Climb attacking the people defending the breach, because if, def if we can knock out the people defending the breach, then we just walk in. To be honest, I think I might even try get the horse artillery to attack the centre. Because it looks like they they should be able... They've got line of sight. And they'll reload fairly quickly. Yes, look at that. Beautiful. scale the wall so you only end up you end up charging men up the walls because it's more about tying them up and keeping them away from defending the central breach realistically so these all of my fuel artillery switch to round shot and engage the howitzers in the center These units are going to be fire well off. Actually, even the artillery is going to cease fire. So my engineers are going to go first. Firelock arm citizenry to try and stop me. See, where's my curacier actually get them over here because it looks like we might end up securing the gate yep we have so we've got another way in they're being a bit foolish and firing into their combat here so this line infantry attack the colonial line there as well There we go, we've got a couple of units here that we're tying up in this attack. Make sure the general's close at hand to support these men. They're shooting into the back of their own men, which isn't going to be what they, what they signed up for. So they're at a real risk of routing quite quickly. 
Try charge some men through the back of the line infantry. You guys attack them. The artillery can more or less cease fire at this point. Get all these guys to attack that regiment of colonial line. units are they're very upset already one of these units has almost been killed it's a colonial militia unit it's that guy so get my marines to take him out good so now that's there's only one unit left up here that means that we can probably run two units away off the wall and you only, only use one infantry unit to commit to fighting on the walls. We can send more marines to support combat off the walls. To try and run some men through the combat here. I mean, these garrison guards have decided, nah, so okay, right, just run run through the gate then if you're not going to fight there you go. I've charged the regiment of line into that unit there I can now charge my cuirassier into the centre because we've got some more infantry down here tying up the 9th we only need one unit chasing the firelock arm citizenry artillery cease fire so we're killing this mortar unit, even though I know that's the general right there. Just looking around, scuffing his feet into the dirt. But no, they are not going to be long for this mortal realm. Hit the 5th regiment. Go on, take him out. You guys should just be able to run in. Yeah, I thought so. Charge the commander, make him a bit upset. But you might not even get there before the. Well, actually, I'll let yeah, I'll let them take him out. My cavalry can hunker down, keep the keep the ticker going. So they charge the general. Let's see what he does. Good God, these guys have got. Look at the moustaches on them. They look silly. Let's run my garrison guards into the center. That frees out my cavalry to just run to the back of these like odd unit of men. But there's really not many troops left. I mean, I don't even know if it's really worth you guys continuing to fight, because there's just not that many of you. There's a Firelock Arm Citizenry over there. Granted, that's someone. But most of you, there's just no real need for you guys to fight. So I'm probably going to notch up the... Uh... There we go, now they've all broken. Yeah, including you guys. Just get out of here, you. Nice. So that is triply secured. Yoink! Noel Monse, you guys replenish. So let's recruit some um, light galleys here, because we know this army is going to be involved in attacking Cairo most likely. We, need to, we do need to put the squeeze on the troops here. Well, if the Italian states, but that's not going to be much of a problem. Obviously, you're attacking Zagreb, but I might actually attack Malta first, just to get it. Although that would be quite a similar battle to what we've just done. So at least with this one, there is an open field aspect to it. 
I think we're drawing in this army, I think. So it's Meaty Boy that looks like that. No, it's not him. It's... Wait. Oh, no, no, sorry. It's, yeah, okay. The chap with the black hair and the red coat. And that is this guy. Yeah. So this guy's been smashed already. Do it. Let's draw them into a a bigger fight. So fortunately, lots of the actual elite troops here in the main force in the city have already been quite significantly depleted. And the reinforcements have... Well, they've combined. They've combined together and they're a bit stronger. This force... Oh no, it was, or was that the force we chewed up? Potentially. Either way, the reinforcements will not save them. We're going to attack Zagreb and that's going to destroy Austrian defence um, in the Western Balkans. And then that, that'll be pretty damn significant, really. I mean, that'll be... That'll be the end of... Not, well, nearly the end of the Austrians. I mean, there's really not many other... Austrian cities around, except maybe well, you know, there might be a couple further in the Balkans and then there's Naples but there's really not that many um, Austrian territories to hold on to so, artillery on the high ground with a commanding view of the town how it's just deployed a bit further further up um hmm deploy bias towards the right side of right flank of the town because of the availability of artillery support but mass all our cavalry on the right flank I think is the order of the day yeah okay that's, that's not so bad well it's a bit dodgy let's take these men form a form a line facing off against the current garrison take these men to form a line against the reinforcements with to my skirmishers Let's see so they wouldn't let me make them run but obviously they are going to run The howitzers are bombarding center, but the 8-inch mortars can't really do anything. But the main purpose of these guys is to serve as a... While we try and deal with the reinforcements that will be entering the field, we'll have a reasonable defense against the actual garrison. Okay, they're charging. So we're going to want to push this infantry up, but they're going to be fire at will off. Charge the Hussars into their special Hussars. Yeah, they are going to advance through the town, so that's okay. The general's been killed by copious amounts of um, cuirassier, so let's take so there was somewhere over there, I didn't quite get a good look and charge into the stars there okay, you guys aren't actually shooting at anything, which is kind of unfortunate Make sure these guys are going to be fire at will on. When they take up their position. A couple of dribs and drabs of weak units. The bulk of their men are pushing around the left, which isn't bad. 
some units are within quicklime range though, so let's switch over to that. Start to try and deplete some of these units of troops. Let's make sure we form a reasonable line facing them off. So I didn't quite see where that reinforcement reinforcing um, army came in from. Somewhere over there, when that cavalry unit routes, we should get a good view. Speed up a little time, just to make sure, just to get him to the edge faster. Something like that. Something like that would be pretty devastating. Not a great position, but... Ah, sound problems. Meh. Let's get this unit of Hussars to charge the Swiss Guards there, because they're trying to push out and attack us. The unit of Marines will fall fairly quickly. To artillery fire, I'm sure Quicklime is done is doing some heroic work. These poor souls. I mean, there's not really many places they can go. It'll be even worse once my light infantry start engaging. I mean, the terrain isn't perfect, but it's going to upset them. Well, that's pretty nice. I mean, I, I did have to send my Hussars, didn't I? Against the heavy infantry. Classic. But that just means my heavy cavalry can smash into these militia. Let's make sure I change my artillery targets. They're getting within range. So my main line has to start firing. You're chewing up the 12th regiment. The 12th regiment is chewed up. Continue to do damage. Royal Hungarian line infantry is coming in. Keep chewing on these guys till they shatter. You just don't want them coming back. So I might just make my howitzers attack the mortars way, way down the back. I heard pew pew pew. That sounds like some Swiss mountain jaegers to me. And these hussars can actually run to attack the enemy there. See, they're massing. But massing like that can be a good and a bad idea. Because it means you can get those really, really nice morale like route chains going yeah, the cavalry is just storming through these men are trying to get to our lines to charge us it's understandable very very much understandable I oh know sorry where's my yeah, these are my hussars. Yeah. Yeah, they just get too much fire. Not a lot they can do. So we know there's a reinforcement unit, reinforcing army coming in from somewhere else. Now the block of troops has, has hit our line. Quite entirely sure why it doesn't like me. Must be like a hidden thing there. That I can't really see. Ooh, horse guards might be trickier. So my marines just run in and try and run in carefully. So then 
<laughs> yeah, the 11th horse guards have just lost a bunch of men. These guys drop into square. There we go. By booping into them, they were then initiated combat and came out to attack us, which if we charge, we would just run into all of their spikes. Then run this unit back out of the danger zone. This massive action over here, this bayonet charge from the enemy, has now not gone to plan. And their main force has been shattered. Reinforcements continue to be upset. Who are that? It's a garrison line infantry unit there. Okay. Form line. Continue to engage. Mortars engage. That line unit. Our guns can engage. All engage the 3rd Regiment of Foot. This unit of Crassier go hit the General's Bodyguard. Pretty sure the General's Bodyguard might actually be the entire other unit that came in as reinforcements. Kill these Marines because you've got a good opportunity to do so. Well, actually. Yeah, I thought as much. There's still a crewman by the mortar, so you need to be careful about making them um, chase down the mortar crew because they've absolutely entombed that thing with spikes. That, and we don't really need to worry about killing all of the generals. I mean, I could probably do with getting a bit more support over here, to be honest. Because, uh, yeah, it's a lot of guys. And I mean, granted I'm doing a lot of damage in the flank with, like, my light infantry and the sharpshooters and Swiss Pike, my then. Another stationary cavalry unit. Get them over. To be honest, everyone's more or less defeated except that unit of garrison line, so... I don't think I can attack ground round sharp this ditch. But I'll try. So you men charge the general's bodyguard. You men get involved in the combat. My light infantry cease fire. So this QSA unit try and knock out the general's bodyguard. Oh, they can hit the ground with round shot, but... Okay, the pikemen are coming in to try and support their general. And it's going to work, so I'm going to run my guys away. Then I'm going to run this Curassier unit right into the flank of that Swiss Pike unit. Hello, I see an enemy cavalry unit. You men run. So you men smash into the flank of the pikes. Didn't do as much damage as I would have liked. Oh, it's a garrison line infantry unit. I see. Keep running. You men intercept the reinforcements. You guys come in and try and take out the general. Nope. Almost. Screwed it up. Try kill the general with my cuirassier. The pikes are going to help out in this messy combat full of militia and line infantry. It's not actually doing that bad. You're going to clear out the garrison. Garrison line infantry. 
enemy general's been killed. Which is what I wanted to see. But I really want to see them rout. Good. That I can get my cavalry to smash into the pikemen. Those infantry have been chased off. I can run them down the bottom of the hill and make them run up. There we go. Now I've got Curassier into the mix. The militia are, are wavering. My men are forcing their way down the hill. This guy is doing something very impressive. It's their officer, no less. Keep fighting. Two of the militia units are wavering. They're broken. Keep on attacking. Keep attacking. Obviously, the pikes are doing a real number on my cuirassier, but god damn it, I'm going to keep fighting. Actually, no, I'm not. You guys get out of there. Line infantry's come in now to take over. So now it should become a real, just a, just a real bloody fight, which we should win because now we've charged up into the rear of some of these units. They should be quite upset at the prospect of being surrounded. Yeah, one of our units routed. Their pikemen are routed. Which means it's game on. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Poor devils. But we're going to call it. Because it makes... Let's not go mad. Let's not go crazy in slaughtering the Austrians. Because they're pretty, pretty poorly anyway. Zagreb is secured. Let's replenish. The new men can march to the port. Push the troops inside. Outside, let's take Mr. Nipis. He can auto-resolve that fight against the Austrians there. Good stuff. So you men replenish. So Naples is their last territory. So you guys are all hunkered down and waiting. You guys are replenishing. You guys are replenishing. You're replenishing. Valletta's under siege. We are... I'm getting a bunch of first rates, but it's not really the ships I want to do transport duty. So, because right now I've got two big fleets, obviously here. Which I can't do anything about. Got a bunch of Ottomans over here, which I can't really do anything about. But I am rapidly becoming. I mean, I'm content to kind of shepherd them because eventually they'll run into a defensive engagement and then I'll just destroy them. Um, but for now, it's not really a pro. Those guys are just a bit of a diversion. Not really worried about it. So I've got units over here getting to the ports. And I want to land them on Patras, Athens, draw some of their troops away from Istanbul, or at least attempt to. So you're on your way to Ayasi. Oh, you're on your way. Eh, do you need to go to Kiev? You were going to go to Kiev, but you might instead go to Klausenberg. Or at least to here, because we've got plenty of troops coming in from the, the east. Like this guy, who was originally meant to cover that northern bridge, he might just follow the, the highway straight to, straight to um, you could the, straight to um, uh, Kiev. You guys are all replenishing. You're on your way to Archangelsk. So the only thing left to do really is to take. Well, not the only thing. There's two things we can do. It's obviously the fight outside Jerusalem, or well, the fight at Jerusalem. But then again, this is a defensive action because we don't have any heavy guns. 
they've got this force here that's outside Valletta, so we may as well fight this now. It's going to take us um, pretty far beyond the turn limit, but to be honest, let's knock out Vienna, knock out Valletta. Take them out, that'll be another faction who will have been eliminated from the game. And you'll make the end turn, to end turn phases all the quicker. All of the quicker. Delicious. So we've got... This is going to be a pretty standard affair. Knock holes in walls. Quick line the guys that try and stop them. And then just swarm, swarm, swarm. Take the city. Um, try and garrison it reasonably effectively. To make them... Well, try and make the public order not fall through the floor. So we can use this army for follow-up attacks. So let's put four men, maybe five units. They're not going to attack the breach necessarily, but they are going to... Actually, I can steal two of these. Because you've got sharpshooters that will go to cover the breach. But they won't... They're not just about going through the breach. They're also about potentially attacking like the shoulders of the breach and scaling the walls in opportune moments. Let's blow away in. I mean, quick line in the centre, because cavalry and mortars, what's not to like about getting rid of them? You killed one crewman. <laughs> I think you must have detonated early. Like, yeah, hit, hit the roof. Yeah, two years, 12 pounders. It's a, it's an okay amount of artillery. To make your way into a city you wouldn't want any less but you would like a bit more so at least i've got my howitzers so if i needed to emergency you know change them to round shot to try and make a way in i can do it oh god yes so if i needed to i could switch my um, howitzers to by a conventional shot to knock down the section of the wall to get in but you really wouldn't want one because it'll only take a few random shots and some, um, you know, lucky shots from the from the fort's defences. And before you know it, you've not really got a battery anymore, and you're now relying on storming the walls, which is okay. But if if you've not got any breaches to defend, you can cover. You can get so many men on the walls, and it's like no, that's a really bad way to do it. At least I think it is. Um, I think there's definitely something to be said for if you've not got enough artillery to attack then if possible, don't. Just don't attack. Just let them let them come out. Let them attack you and you defend because you've got, I mean, look at Quicklime just wiped out the men in the centre. But like, if you've not got the artillery let them come out and just defend that's not a problem. Uh, to be honest, let's just start divvying quick clone targets up between other targets. Storm, 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 attack Pan Alpha. Because now, they might have a handful of mortars, but they've only got the general just the general and his buddy from a different unit and a couple of mortar, mortar units here, sure. And they're going to come out and defend the breach. So again, except carefully, attack ground the breach itself with mortars. Because I have actually, I should probably kill you as well. I don't know whether I've done that quick enough. No, I have. I've done knocked some holes in you. So I'm really not utilising my sharpshooters and their range advantage, but there's not really a need to. Form a little cocoon around the, the breach, so any men that try and run out to interfere with the men that are storming the walls will be stopped. 
So a unit hunker down by the gate. One unit capture the walls. To be honest, they can all capture the walls. So we're pouring fire onto the men defending the breach, which we may or may not make them route. There's a garrison line unit that is going to start defending the wall. I hear a charge. But yeah, these guys, they're going to fall pretty quick. They don't have any bayonets, so, well, I mean, they're Malta. They can't research anything, so they don't have any advanced technologies or firing drills or artillery shots or lots of the good stuff. See, look at that. I mean, was that me? Or was that mortar? I think it was their mortars, that was. Just to make sure, I'm going to switch my guys to round shot and to attack the second regiment. Because that looks like it would have been coming from there. So these guys might break and run, which is. which would be understandable. Very well. Push in. You men cease fire. So the thing is, is that they've. Because they haven't got bayonets or anything like that, then they are actually really quite vulnerable. Okay, I better make you guys run up the wall then. So I've accidentally picked my assault troops and made them attack the gate rather than secure the gate. Although it does look like we have secured the gate. Attack the Firelock Arm Citizenry. Obviously the unit we sent to attack has run, rather than run into the breach, they've gone around this way and are going to climb up. Smart cookies they are. I mean, it's kind of true, because they don't want to be in the first wave, in the forlorn hope. I might make you guys climb up there, so let's turn my howitzers off. You guys are all round shot attacking the centre anyway. get you guys just to run off of the gates and just run to the as soon as you're up on the wall just run to the center because that line infantry unit that says they're winning they won't be for long so you guys are winning on the walls here these guys are a bit it's a bit more squeaky bum time for them because they're fewer in number So you men might attack along the wall to help them out. So you guys are going to continue to attack the 2nd Regiment here. These Cressier Arms are going to give them an order to run in, whether or not they will or won't do it. Cease fire the artillery, because it seems to be targeting whatever they choose. Okay, no, you guys don't climb up there. There's an armed citizenry unit in there. So the 7th Regiment of Foot is going down. Going down pretty quick. Yeah, the objective of these men are to just attack the centre, get the clocks ticking, and I mean, they're actually not that far off of being completely off the wall anyway. But yeah, attack the mortars. Attack the general. And then start the ticker because they can't really they can't really do much else I mean, that unit of infantry is yeah, they've fallen quite quickly and they are rather upset yeah, because these guys are so strung out they're they're probably going to get confused a bit like that so i might have to just give them a generic order like that to run to run to that spot to make them yeah, get off the walls properly before they attack the center. So it's a bit of a bummer, but yeah. it's not bad. So you men all attack these men on the walls here. The Q 
Curacy are trying to get their way in. So let's take... Okay now, okay, now I'll send you guys in for the attack, because... You may as well. That's the command. That's the commander of that battery killed. So you men are after these men, this field artillery regiment, fighting amongst the the bodies of all these corpses. Take the general. Start the ticker going. And then that will be Valletta secured. And obviously the commanders... Ah! Oh, because they tried to run through the gate. It wants them to run into the combat they were currently in over here. But there's no point, because we've got loads of people over here. Come over here and kill the general. Because he's the guy that's upsetting our ticket. He keeps resetting it, but when, once we've swamped it with enough men, I don't think he'll be able to reset it. Or it looks like he can reset it. There we go. Now I'll just sit on the centre. As our men still struggle to shuffle through the centre, through the breach. But this is looks kind of realistic. It's just a sheer momentum... Over about 110 guys is still a lot to slow down and stop. And those Firelock Armed Citizen ready to charge down the, the gates towards us. Yep, you guys go help attack the men at the breach. These Curassier have got the... They've got this line infantry unit that's partially bugged into the wall anyway. Attack the, the men of the 3rd Regiment. They're sat there just firing shots at you for free. Yeah, let's probably boost this a little bit more because we know it's a... Well, those guys were about to charge that, which isn't right. We know it's a pretty fo fo foregone conclusion. And they will... The question is, will they break or will they... Yeah, they've broken. Yep. The battle is over. The city is taken. Good stuff. So there it goes with a letter. The royal palace is destroyed. Let's upgrade the shipyard. Let's get our ships to sit in. Thessaloniki. Actually, I know what I might do. Yeah. Send them in just to auto this fleet here to clear them out of Istanbul. The is are they both the second rates? They are. We'll take them into our service. Now we control the strait. Then, so you're on your way to the port. Everyone's on the move. They're being repaired. You guys are ready. Everyone's on the. Everyone's marching. No one's currently attacking. You guys have all been fighting. You guys have no move. Okay, let's do some pushing. Stick Urbane Larue. Push them onto Sarajevo. Take you men to this bridge. Waiting further orders. Sylvester Germain, replenish that Hungary. You could attack, but I'm really intrigued to hit and turn and see what happens. And I must admit, we are actually running dangerous, not dangerously short of money, but 175,000 a turn isn't a lot. I mean, we are getting a huge... Somewhere we're getting blockaded, and that's doing a lot of economic damage to us. But I don't really care. So where's being blockaded? 
I don't know. 100,000 per turn is still fine. Let's hit end turn. I just noticed because we got to 84,000. I'm thinking 84,000, that's not very much. So I think maybe some water resolve battles might be okay. We can afford to lose a lot of men. <laughs> no. No, sir. The Italian states will fall. Then your pitiful little empire will fall. Did rise us a little Austrian... Oh, the leftovers of the Austrian raiding army to the west. I remember. But yeah, the Ottomans have a bit of strength, but... Yeah, not enough. Not enough to withstand the firepower that's arrayed against them from all directions. It looks like they might just turtle around Istanbul and use that as their final stand. Don't worry, I will attack. But I'll attack so many areas at once. I, there could well be an argument for me to... Um, <laughs> there could well be an argument to... Um, start disbanding stuff. Destroy one of my sloops. Ooh, interception. I don't think Mr. Morty... I'm not sure. Oh, it must be this guy. It must be this guy. Because it wouldn't be him. Why would it intercept him there? Not on the road further away. It must be this guy. So hopefully, fingers crossed, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to win the episode and... Ideally, we'll destroy both these armies in a, f in a fantastic river battle to kick off the next episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.